the time, if there was ever a time that we need to protect our minds and that of our children, is now. Thank you. Simple things are our blessings. The simple things are our blessings, your blessings. What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. It's just mommy here today, not Jenny here, not daddy here. Just mommy doing a little bit of chit chat today. No, it's not really. It's a very important topic actually and it is something that I'm very passionate about and that is why I think I should do a video about this, hence my being here alone. Now, today I want to talk about protecting our children's mental health during this pandemic. Now, as teachers, and not only teachers, but I'm speaking more specifically teachers because I'm a teacher, right? Now, as teachers, if we are not careful, the demands of our job, the demands of the responsibility with which we are endowed will push us to neglect our children or the social needs of our children the physical needs of our children and we are so caught up with catering to those needs of the children who are entrusted in our care outside of our homes that ours gets get neglected and we can't do that right so the first thing i want to highlight how we can protect our children's mental health is balance now we as teachers need to balance our time guys i know i know the task is great but if we're not careful we spend so much time filling up documents writing up preparing our lesson plans doing evaluation marking things online even harder now and we end up not giving our children even a good half an hour we can't do that right so we have to somehow strike some sort of balance right whatever means necessary if we're going to designate a time to say this is my child's time we have to do it all right so the second thing i want to talk about is playing with them remember our children are used to play and okay okay your child may not be six or seven but the child still needs require that kind of social interaction right so what you can do as the parent play with them right so Remember now, where did that yarn ball go? Just uh Sometimes they call their friends and they talk and, you know, they probably would want, you know, that kind of physical interaction. Take, go outside with them, make a little... I'm one of those little balls, play little sighting, dandy shandy, whatever you call it, right? play with them for children Jeanne's age you color with them draw with them sing with them read to them take walks with them right the third thing we can do is kind of stick to a normal routine so you know normally they're going to school they get up they get dressed they get dressed for church they're going to church and stuff let them do it still allow them to have some sense of normalcy still right so you allow them to Put on their uniforms, get up, bathe, brush your teeth, have your breakfast because it's school you're going. Right? And they sit around their area wherever it is. O R A N G E S. G E S. 
If it's on the bed, if it's in a little corner on the ground, if they have a table and a nice area, whatever it is, wherever it is, make the best of their area. Right? Make sure. And for church, same principle. stick to some sense of normalcy next point number point number kind of lost about four i think <laughs> it's a point number four now you can arrange play dates for them well the younger ones right so they can't go physically because your friend probably lives in that community you live in this community you know the getting together is kind of risky tricky right so you say right let me call her call who on whatsapp and yeah, you are zoom or whatever you want to use and let them have their play dates right they call their friend they talk to their friend they plan and you will be surprised to see how innovative they are right Dean Jeanne do it and when her friend at one point they were on the phone for over an hour one hour doing what you might ask the innovative game they say alright we're going to play show me around your house I mean um, house tour and after they said house tour they said okay we're going to do name the tiktok and then they said we're going to play hide and seek you have to guess where I hid the item and I'm saying listen to these children though you understand so the truth is, if you give them an opportunity, then you will see how innovative they are. Right? So that's something else that can be done. All right? Point number five. We can, cannot, cannot, cannot deny the need for God. We cannot. Right? You have to help them to build their faith. You have to help them. So, your purpose as the parent is to have little prayer meetings with them, sing with them, pray with them, encourage them to pray, right? You ensure that they have that kind of relationship, develop, build. If they had it already, they grow stronger. Times are hard for everybody. Everybody is going through something, right? But we have to make an effort to protect our children. It's not being selfish. It's not being selfish. But we have to know that our children need our attention. With that said, I'm going to reiterate. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it back in the right order. But I'm going to reiterate, balance. Yes, balance. Stick to a normal routine. Play with your children. Allow them to have virtual play dates. Yes, and of course, we cannot um, neglect God. We cannot neglect God. And guys, remember, they can be tired too. Give them a break. They can be tired too. Allow them to take a break. So sometimes you say, all right, we're going to take a walk. We're going to take a trip. We're going down to the beach. We're going down for a nature walk. We're just simply going to put down the books and we're going to play some games inside. All right? We have to. There's no other time. If there was ever a time that we need to protect our minds, and that of our children is now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I know I hope somebody is encouraged. Somebody is inspired, you know, to be a little more involved or a little more cognizant of the fact that your child's mental health matters. See you guys again soon. Bye.